Hello everybody and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Anyway, last time I mentioned maybe using our SSTOs. Um, I haven't got any feedback yet because I'm recording this before that other video even goes out. But it doesn't really matter because we're not going to be doing SSTOs anyway because if I go to my space plane hangar for, for a new thing, basically these wings right here. We do not have access to these yet. These are a tech node that we have yet to unlock, so pretty much I cannot use this yet. But that's fine because I came up, up with another idea for this video. So yeah, if you guys knew last time, we did some more stuff in interplanetary space uh, with the big boy. And yeah, this time I went ahead and made... A... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. I made a space shuttle with uh, with our MUN base extension all in there. I went ahead and made sure that it matched all the criteria that we require. And yeah, it's a pretty neat looking space shuttle. I do agree with myself when I say it's a pretty cool looking space shuttle. Uh, yeah. Basically, anyway, we're gonna have to do two launches of this. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm gonna make sure all the staging is good. And yeah, it's it, it's been a while since I've launched. Or I really haven't done anything space shuttle related. Oh yeah, I also put some parachutes so we can try to recover the SRBs as well. So very similar to the NASA one. That yeah, perfect. Okay. So this is our space shuttle. Doesn't have the three engines. Only has two. Um, and yeah, I hope that this thing works on re-entry. I have well, the thing is with, with with the space planes I've been experimenting with off camera and on other saves. Re-entry hasn't gone the best, but I think it's because my planes are usually back heavy. Um, if you can see, all our fuel is back here, and currently, if we open up the center of mass, we have the whole. Sh you, I mean, we have the external tank too, but as you can see, the center of mass and the center of lift. The center of mass is right around here for the space shuttle. It's pretty much right on the center of mass of the space shuttle, which is what you want. Realistically, you actually want it to be a little bit back, but once we burn our fuel, it will be a little bit back. And plus, we really only need it for entry. That's a good point. I should probably just drain this. Because that's probably how we're, how we're entering the atmosphere. Okay, and that's like that. But then we also have this whole payload in here. Even with the thing completely empty, it's still not the best. Okay, so we probably should add some weight to the front. Like that on there. Make sure it doesn't have any liquid fuel in it whatsoever. It's a slightly longer shuttle now. I should probably also add some RCS. I don't think I remember to do that. So we'll just go ahead and make sure we chuck some of these on there. Make sure they're on both sides. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, that should be enough uh, control. And yeah, this will be empty, and we'll make sure we pump that full of fuel before we do our landing. Okay, for oxidizer, we have one of those drainy valve things. So yeah, I know I built this uh, off camera. And before, ooh, where did that go? So yeah, I know I've been building rockets off camera, and I hope you guys don't mind that too much. It's just a little bit easier for me to work on it because when, when, I, when I try to do, blah, 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 blah. okay, slow down, <laughs> slow down, okay, because when I try to do them with a uh, time lapse, when I try to time lapse these things, um, the time lapse doesn't usually look too great, and yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I think I might not do the time lapse for actually building, but for launching, yeah, we'll totally do a time lapse. Oh, also, something I'm forgetting is solar panels. I know the space shuttle didn't have solar panels, but I'm pretty sure it used fuel cells, but we'll just use solar panels because, eh, it's the future, isn't it? Actually, I didn't put any solar panels on the base, now that I'm, now I'm thinking about it. Pretty cool design for a base. I'm quite proud of it. They got all these, like, Mark I tanks, or Mark I crew cabins, all, like, together. They're not actually clipped. They're using a... a, a a quad adapter, and overall, I think it looks quite nice. We are gonna have to do two launches, like I said already, to launch this and then the transfer stage. And we're not gonna. I was thinking about doing a sky crane setup, but I think we're probably just gonna just flop it, <laughs> just flop it, just belly flop it on the ground. I mean, we're gonna have the cupola. It's gonna be a little awkward. Because the cupola is going to have to go to, on that port. So the thrust is going to imbalance once we unload it. But it should be fine. I mean, it would be nice if we could unload, if we could land this on the MUN and then unload it. But I don't think that's probably possible. So we're just going to go. I think everything's good. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. And yeah, for our crew, it's going to be going to be just Jebediah. 
Valentina and Bill will go up later. Uh, Jeff Jebediah for the for the first flight of this space shuttle. And yeah, I'm excited. Let's see how well my space shuttle does. Okay. Ooh, look at this boy. Yeah, so definitely a lot of Delta V. A lot more than we need, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we're going to have to do a roll program, it seems like. Um, yeah, because it's not positioned the right way. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Um... I think I messed up my staging. A little wobbly. Oh, I should probably strut the base. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. No, wait, 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 no. I think the thrust... I think the thrust might be imbalanced. No! Those don't have enough tilt. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. I was just not banking, okay. Roll, roll program, roll program, mmm, mmm. Yeah, see, roll program doesn't really work too well. Oh, no, we got it, we got it, no, no. I mean, I mean, if we wanted a, a polar orbit, this is, this is good. Polar orbit, shuttle, for the win. Polar orbit shuttle for the win. Yeah, this is not ideal. Ooh, 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 okay, ooh. See you later, SRBs. Don't need you. I mean, we, ha we have an apoapsis. This is not the most efficient shuttle in the world. If it ain't broken, do you really need to fix it? I don't think so. Okay, the external tank is still, yeah, it's highly over-engineered for what it needs to be. Yeah, we could probably go to the, the MUN. I think for my first space shuttle attempt, you know, this isn't that bad. So we're doing our orbital insertion with our uh, vectors. Which isn't what the space shuttle would normally do, but you know. I mean, yeah, we'll drop the external tank, then we'll fire up our orbital maneuvering thrusters. We may have waited a little too late. Because, we, oh yeah, we are dropping back down into the atmosphere, but hopefully it'll be fine. I'm going to try to... Oh, no, time warp does not work. I think I waited a little too late, and I didn't make any quick saves, so we're going to have to try again from launch. Oh yeah, I waited a little too late to do our orbital insertion burn. I guess we can test the re-entry capabilities. It's not a really good re-entry trajectory. Ooh! Ooh! I might need bigger control surfaces, maybe? When in doubt, toggle the gear! That'll activate, that'll, mix, that'll create some drag. That seemed to work, actually, a little bit. Okay. Landing gear created some drag. And overall, this thing... I think I think we need bigger control surfaces, because these little, tiny little Elevon ones, I don't think, provide enough control authority. But as first flight scale, I don't think that was bad. And uh, and, the, and these winglets don't even have any authority. So, Jebediah, uh, as much as I hate it to say it, but I think you might bail. You might need to bail. Deploy shoot. Oh, never mind. Jebediah did not make it. Jebediah, Jebediah, he, he, he survived. He's, look, he's still here. Look, that was, that was just a simulation. That didn't actually happen, okay? Don't, don't get mad at me. N none of that was real. It was all a figment of your imagination. Okay. Bigger. Uh-oh. Did those. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think the clamp at the top. This one was a bad idea, because I think we hit it. Okay, now we should be good. Okay, it's a little saggy. This way. We go we go this way. Over the water. Nope. I'm just really bad at controlling these things. That's all. Okay, no, there we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. I got it. Hey, there we go. There we go! We've used, like, a little bit of fuel, and we're off in the right direction towards uh, an, an equatorial orbit. Okay, ooh, it wants to rotate. That's fine. 
You know, however you want to get into space, buddy. It, I don't really care. I'm not even pressing any buttons. That's just doing its thing. Oh, I forgot the parachutes this time, but I don't even think we really need them. I don't think we actually need the parachutes. Can I get rid of those? Oh, whoops. That's a problem. Uh, it should be fine. You know, normally in real life that would cause a fuel leak, but luckily each of these segments are separated from each other. Okay, we didn't even make it anywhere near close enough to orbit. That's because we lost all that fuel back there. Oh no, we lost our fuel lines. So that's what happened. Um. Okay, let's try re-entry uh, attempt two. This has way more control. Okay, I might be able to glide this. Coming down towards the island. Okay, it seems like it really wants to nosedive. I mean, it does have the payload. That's something I didn't really account for. Is that yes, it does. We do. We do still have the payload in there. Um, so yeah, it is a little nose heavy. Usually we would have had we we would have had deployed the payload at this point. Oh, why is yaw? <laughs> that had everything except yaw. That might also be. That might have also been a problem. Is that our tail fin didn't have yaw? I mean, not for launch, but like for trying to turn and stuff. So if anything, I built a functional plane, a functional abort for the shuttle. I mean, mine's even safer because it can. It can safely detach in case something happens, you know? So, you know, my shuttle is clearly the better one here. Uh, although it hasn't quite made it to space yet, so I guess there's that. But, eh, semantics. You know. Hey, there we go. That's an alright water landing. Just lost all, all the engines. And landing gear. Uh, I guess the wings. The wings went went away. But you know, at least we still have the payload. So, you know, there's that. The payload is fine. Our space station... It's fine. They should be more stable. This should hopefully be the first successful flight. Oh, that's cursed. Oh. Maybe it would help if I fired up the shuttle main engines. Huh? No. 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 Hey. Hey. Hey, we're got we're doing it. No. Okay. I got I kind of got to focus here, but yeah, we're, it seems like we're managing. I mean, we are going the complete wrong way. We should be going this way into space. Okay, and we're also we're also off our axe, our yaw. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. My shuttle works great. Don't worry about a thing. Oh no, that wasn't that wasn't stage. That was stage. Okay. See ya, SRBs. Yeah, very not stable. I don't really know how to make it more stable though. It just seems to want to spin and stuff. Maybe RCS would help. Maybe more reaction wheels. Yeah, I think reaction wheels might have been what this thing is missing. It isn't ideal, but at least this thing doesn't have to dock. So yeah, we'll make sure that this Model Two has RCS, but at least we can get our payload into orbit. Actually, let me just check our orbit. Hmm, not bad. Actually, pr quite pretty good. Pretty alright. Yeah, I just gotta manage. If I hit prograde. Yeah, okay. You can just hold prograde. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Gonna make sure I quick. I'm not gonna quick save. Because, yeah. Finally making it up into space. Wonderful stuff. <laughs> Shaky start. But, yeah, I mean, I think if we had RCS on or some powerful reaction uh, control. Maybe I'll chuck in some reaction control up near the front. Up near the front. Um, I mean, it'll limit our our bay capacity, but that'll be fine. Oh wait, oh, we are we are going <laughs> we are going way into space. Okay, I think it's time we drop the external fuel tank, and we'll shut down the vectors. Our thuds are ready to go. 807 meters per second. That should be enough to reach a low orbit. So yeah, I made sure these were firing around the center of thrust. So yeah, that was the hardest part. Because yeah, with a shuttle, the reason it's so hard is because we have that big old external tank. And we just have these two engines. And our thrust is offset. So that's why shuttles are so hard to make. And also, I made, my, made it even harder on myself because we had those SRBs. Which can't be throttled. They can't be controlled. So really, you know, they're, 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 pretty, they're pretty tricky beasts to fly. But once you, once you master, it's... it's you know, you, you got you got it pretty good. Anyway, let's go ahead and met a maneuver of a thousand meters per second to get our periapsis. Ooh. Do we not have enough fuel? 110, 142. I mean, yeah, it is a pretty high periapsis. 
two minutes. Yeah, the thing we don't have enough. Might be able to use RCS to push us the final way. How much run up front we got? Uh, we don't got a lot. So really, oof. Okay, well that, well, that, well that was... Yeah, we really don't got a lot of space in this cargo bay, though. I used it pretty much all for this payload. Maybe I can chuck a reaction wheel back here or something? I'm not too sure. I'll try. Okay, maybe we, maybe we can try it again. Revert flight. Yeah. I'm gonna add some arse. I'm gonna add some reaction wheels. We could chuck a bunch of reaction wheels inside there. There we go. That looks alright. And yeah, it's kind of hard to tell that there's even anything in there. Okay, that should be good. Why? Why? Why did that happen? Efficient launch. I think maybe I need to edit these vectors. I think maybe they need a bit more um, pitch to them to keep our thrust to weight centered with, or to keep our thrust vector centered with our center of mass. Because I had to keep, I had to keep on adjusting it. But we are, are we are going to achieve orbit, which is awesome. Unfortunately, we're not recovering anything yet, SRBs. I, d I mean, yeah, the original plan was to put parachutes on the SRBs and recover them sort of like NASA did. Um, but I mean, the shuttle and these engines are really the bulk of what we need to recover. So if we don't get the SRBs, I don't think it's a big deal. SRBs are cheap anyway. Uh, really, if there's anything to recover, it's the big tank, but... Uh, oh well. Yeah, I've got reaction wheels in it and stuff. We might be able to put the reaction wheels on the shuttle instead and save those too. What's that? Oh, the men's station. Is that, like, debris from the men's station Mark II? Probably. Because, yeah, the men's station is around Memphis, So that's probably just some debris. Some space junk that I forgot about. Whoopsies. Oh, yeah. We do have we do have reaction wheels. I mean, we do have some reaction wheels. It's just not a lot. And I think maybe if we edit the vectors, we may not need them. Just they might need more pitch. Because, yeah, it is very shallow. There we go. Burn has started. See you later, external tank. Goodbye. Not gonna be space junk for long, though. It is on a suborbital trajectory. And we'll just go ahead and quickly time warp through our insertion burn. So now it is time to deploy our payload and I guess our solar panels. Probably go ahead and extend those, too. I would say Jebediah can go on an EVA, but I think maybe all hatches are obstructed. Nope. Nope. It's fine. He can EVA out of this hatch, apparently. Um, yeah. I thought maybe all the hatches would be obstructed. But yeah, no, he can go on EVA. He can open all the cargo bays, and yeah. I mean, yeah, this is, this is definitely a, a step needed to take before we start doing SSTO missions. But now, there we go. There's our base. Oh, yeah, because oh, no, there's no crew control. Okay, Jebediah, you kind of need to be in the in the shuttle to press the button. You know, the, the big old button, the big red button that says detach. Yeah, I mean, the wings is kind of in front of him, but it's fine. Okay. I mean, that's actually not a normal hatch you could EVA out of the real shuttle. Uh, that, yeah, because there's no airlock behind that hatch. But, you know, it's fine. It's Kerbal. Okay, so. Check this out. So, yeah, it, it has been a while since I last um, <laughs> checked in on here. But I did install, in between last episode, or the last clip I recorded and this clip, I installed Astronomer's Visual Pack and... Oh my goodness, doesn't it just look amazing? Like, look at this, like, nebulae over here. And I think it I think it makes the game look uh, a lot brighter, too, which is good for videos. So, yeah, definitely I'm quite happy with my, um, with the update here. Uh, we might check out some other planets, actually, as well. I mean, today was just going to be a shuttle day, but I'm like, you know what, let's install Astronomer's Visual, the Visual Enhancements. I've heard it was really good. 
I didn't know it would be this good, though. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and um, deploy our cargo, and maybe we'll go ahead and uh, try to land this thing. Okay, yeah, look how great Kerbin looks, and just looking out into space. Um, you can see the mun over there, the sun, and the s lens flare when you get and you look at the sun over there. I mean, our shuttle was a little blue <laughs> actually to start off, but then I like uh, went to the map view and came back, and then it was it was fine. Yeah, like you looked at it from here, and it looked looked very blue. Uh, probably because it, you know, dipped into the atmosphere. You know, makes it a little blue. But yeah, I definitely am a fan of of this. Thing retrograde. Okay, and our periapsis is within the atmosphere. I think that might be good. That'll hopefully be good. Okay. Oh, look at the lightning. Oh yeah, light lightning looks cool. Look, there's some. There's a lightning storm down there. Let's try not to land in the lightning storm. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, we're flipping. We're flipping. We're flipping. Oh no, this is bad. Hold on, wait. No, no, no. I, I we planned for this. No way. I I removed that feature. That was that was a pre-alpha feature that we removed from the space shuttle. Oh no. At least re-entry looks pretty cool. I think I think that might be another change. Is re-entry? I I, I I don't know. I don't know all the little changes, but re-entry looks cool, I guess. Um, while also being very scary at the same time. Okay, we're overheating on the wing. Uh, this isn't good. Also, I realized we didn't even set up for a re-entry over the KSC. Uh, it should be fine, though. We can cut- we can bring this thing to a water landing. It'll be fine. At least we get a pretty sunrise. You know, I didn't really think about pretty sunrises being a thing that we would- that we could get to see. But it seems like we do get to see them. So that is cool. The sky is now fading out of view. Okay, pretty night sky. We'll, we'll see you later. Or it's pretty- pretty- uh, cause here comes the sun. Here comes, here comes the sun. So we got to say goodbye to the night sky and hello to janky reentry. Okay, hopefully Jebediah won't have to bail out, but I think he might, because I don't know if we can bring this back around to prograde. Okay, we're reentering backwards. It's fine. I planned for this. Totally, just go for a roll. Go for a backwards roll. Of death. Backwards roll of death. We're lo we, we lost, we lost, um, I think some control services there. Keep it alive just long enough for Jebediah to be able to bail out. Oh, look at those overheating. They're getting, oh, those engines are getting real close. Okay. Maybe. Oh, hello, clouds. You disappeared. You disappeared here. Okay, wait. Hold on. Steady. No, we're still spinning. We're still spinning. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, no, we don't have any control surfaces anymore. Uh, yeah, we're just... Fail! Deploy shoot! We'll go assess the damage. I mean, I feel like if we had a better re if, if if we <laughs> were able to maintain a nose-up attitude, I think there just needs to be more weight in the front. I mean, this time we won't need such a big payload, so maybe I'll just engineer some weight in the front. So that way the the nose goes first, cause yeah, if we if we start going engine first, then that's bad. But so we we basically need some weight uh, equivalent to those two engines up in the front, and I think maybe I can equi uh, I can uh, do that with a bunch of reaction wheels. The cabin would have been fine. Uh, what's this? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. We enter physics range. There it goes. Yeah. Okay. So most of it. Hmm. Oh, there's a landing leg. Okay. So yeah, hmm. A good chunk. Right, can I land on the shuttle? Let's see. Can you land? How skillful are you, Jebediah? Can you land on the? Nope. Okay. Ugh. Ooh. Okay. Get inside. Get back there. And jump. It said jump. Nope. I'm just gonna recover Jebediah <laughs> before uh, we have any more problems. Let's go ahead and recover that shuttle and see how much money we actually made. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess we could try another shuttle to get the second part up there. To be fair, yeah, we need to get the propulsion module and some of the crew up there. So yeah, I'm going to try maybe another shuttle launch. Maybe with a slightly different, maybe just edit it a little bit. Our shuttle lacks fireworks. What kind of shuttle lacks fireworks? I don't know, but our shuttle needs fireworks. Now, we'll go for the normal parachutes because, yeah, if we have a landing like like what we just had again, that 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 will that will help. That will help quite a bit. Okay, 
think that's good. And I think this can probably remain closed. Oh, okay. Well, this is a double bay. Uh, really, this part, this bay should be over here because this is like a bay that should be closed all the time. But no, we got the fireworks, so it actually should be opened. <laughs> yeah, don't do that when they say that. In order to get to the airlock, you kind of have to go through um, uh, RCS fuel tank and a reaction wheel module. But don't think about that too much. Okay, if you just don't think about that too much, it's perfectly reasonable that you'd be able to go through the re that reaction wheel module and fuel and uh, RCS fuel. Okay, and our thrust weight seems pretty good. Stage three has way too much. Because stage three is... Oh yeah, jettisoning the external tank and just going off of the vectors. Yeah, no, that's not how that works. Okay, there we go. Orbit achieved. And yeah, this version of the shuttle. Oh man. All I did was mess adjust the uh, the angle of attack of these, and I replaced the SRBs with the Clydesdales, which are a little overkill, but they are the SRBs. They are equivalent to the ones used on the shuttle. And, they, and because of that, they have gimbling, so they can gimbal themselves. So that helps a lot during the SRB stage of flight, and then making sure these are tuned for the uh, part where we just have the tank. And that worked very, very well. I'm just ignore these because these are retracted. Uh, they just look extended for whatever reason. I'm going to try to maybe adjust them real quick. So yeah, it's, it's a problem with restock, I believe. I mean, really, for just these antennas. I don't think it's any, uh, any of the other antennas. Anyway, there we go. So now we got to gotta go ahead and rendezvous with our um, with our other target. Set that as our target. Oh, and it seems like we have a pretty close encounter already. Very blue, and there there it is. It's very blue. So I don't know why it's so blue, but it do be blue. And I, I don't know if that's really a problem. I don't think it's a problem. I think it's I think it's fine. Right, being blue. That shouldn't be a problem. I would I would sing the song, but I think oh we're really blue now. Oh yeah, and there we go. The blue went away. Yeah, I think I don't know. It seems to be weird. I, I I'm not gonna pay it too much mind though. From this point on, it's just being blue. Shuttle's a little sad. Okay, on dock. So let's go ahead and Jebediah. Let's get on this thing, and we'll make sure that our docking ports are aligned. And we're going to do certified lazy method of docking, uh, quoted by Matt Lown, who plays this game as well. We're going to use our new found target holding abilities to have this thing hold target, and then we'll do it manually with the other one. Because, yeah, we don't have target holding on both vessels, so we can't quite do it. But we can do something similar. So if we try to find our little target, where'd it go? Oh, because it's over there. Okay. I'm like, how can I not see a shuttle? Fire up that wolfhound a little bit. Then use the RCS to keep it in line. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> that docking port's not the right way around. And boop. Sideways. Up. And... Hey! There we go. Even with a backwards docking port. I did it. Okay, Bob. Now it's your time to get the wheels on there. So, yeah. Make sure we did a quick save. There we go. Jim and I might stay on board. Yeah, Valentina might fly the... Yeah, Valentina's will fly the shuttle home. Oh, that's awesome. And Valent and Jebediah will take the helm and fly the space back. Because, yeah, we're going to need to uh, re re reorientate the cupola, like, right before we land. So, be a little bit tricky. We're going to have to flop it down on its wheels. The landing is going to be a tricky beast in of itself. And I think I'll probably save that for next time. Because, yeah, shuttles. That was awesome. Okay. 
Yeah, we can. You can use attachment points. That all works well. Okay, this is easy. This is easy. Yeah, as long as there's attachment points, I can click these on here. And then I can click these wheels on. It doesn't seem like we can do symmetry, though. You can't alt-click or do anything that would duplicate the part, because, yeah, we're not in the VAB, so we can't just make free wheels. Yeah, just a little bit of crab steering, for those who know what that is. Basically, it's like the vehicle kind of has like a bit of walk to the side, and it's, it's, not, it's not extreme enough where it'll be a problem. I know that from Farming Simulator. And they say video games don't teach you things. Fine enough for me, it's good enough for Kerbal Space Program, right? Okay. There you go. So there's our base in orbit, constructed. Oh, cannot hook save on a ladder. Let's just go ahead and get you inside. There. There we go. So you two are going to head off to the MUN. Oh yeah, because we're expanding. I'm like, what's this little outline around it? That's because we're expanding the MUN base. Yep. And there's the aging satellite. It's in a bit of an elliptical orbit. Or a bit of an incl inclination. It was a docking port. I forgot to turn off fuel cross feed. We have literally no fuel. So I'll probably do that off camera. Uh, I don't think you guys want to sit through that. But yeah, I think next time uh, we'll probably head off to the MUN and do our MUN things. But yeah, today was fun with the new visuals. Yeah, beautiful. And the shuttles. We'll go ahead and deorbit this shuttle. And then we'll check out EVE. Seems like we're holding this angle of attack quite well. But yeah, having more weight up at the front with those reaction wheels and monopropellant. Having all our monopropellant stored up front. It's far outweighing any liquid fuel and oxidizer back here. Oh no. Oh no, we're fine. Just a backflip. Yep, just just a quick little backflip, you know. A celebratory backflip. We really should be bleeding off all our speed. Oh gosh. Flip. Fun backflip. Time. Oh gosh. Did we lose it at the last second here? Hopefully not. No, we didn't lose it. Wait, no, I think we did. Okay, stability. Just stop the spin. No, the spin's getting worse, I think. Is it getting worse? Okay. Deploy the chutes. Maybe we can get it going a prograde direction? Oh, there we go. Gear. Maybe it seems like it's working. Yeah, hold on. Just flip it around. Flip this shuttle around. There we go. Ah, there we go. Parachutes. They help. Okay, um... There we go. If anything, it just helped us get going in a uh, prograde direction. Thank you, parachutes. It helps alleviate our spin problem. Okay. Well, let's, yeah. There we go. I think, yeah, now, now, now that we're deep within the atmosphere, we should be well stable. So, yeah, that was good. Thank you, parachutes. <laughs> they helped orientate us. So, yeah, I think I just gotta be more careful. I think uh, this thing can probably manage it. I think I just gotta be more careful when coming into the low atmosphere. Make sure that you're heading perfectly prograde, because, yeah, if we do a backflip in the low atmosphere, there's really no recovering from that. In the upper atmosphere, it's fine, but in the lower atmosphere, yeah, I learned. We learned the hard way that there's no real th way cut recovering from that. You get a great view of the highlands. Yeah, you sure do. Oof. That was a hard landing. <laughs> it was fine, though. Hmm. Absolutely fine. Wonderful. <laughs>
journeys we are meant to take Something at the edge of space Calling us to fly away Oh, look at Eve. Actually, let's just hop over to here. Oh, look at that. Look at that aurora on Eve. Beautiful. And look, you now, you, now you can actually see. Look. So before you couldn't see it. Uh, I don't. I'm kind of inside Eve right now, but yeah, you can. You, now you can see the shining oceans. So now it makes more sense for what the Kerbals were saying that they could see the Eve's shining oceans. You can see the shiny oceans in there. It's pretty neat. The auroras are also awesome. The wandering lights at the top. It's like a hexagon aurora almost. Very cool. Okay, so there we go. I think I'm probably gonna end the video here. In the background, you can see some shuttles. Some of my failed attempts. Um, but yeah, that was great. Our MUN base is now fully fueled, ready to head off to the MUN next time. Um, so yeah, that's going to be quite awesome. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, have a great day, rest of your day. And yeah, next time we'll be doing the MUN thing like I said. If you guys have any ideas for how to help me improve the shuttles, I mean, I've gotten the launch down, but I think it's just the landing. Um, I think having the weight in the front is a good idea. My previous landing attempt, the one you're seeing right now, um, we that we drained all the mono propellant, so there wasn't any weight in the front, so all the weight was in the back, so that's why it was so unstable. But yeah, if a normal flight, you wouldn't use all the mono propellant. It's just that we had to transfer it because I had to use a lot for docking. Um, so, whoops. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>